Welcome everyone to my channel Everything PS. With UMD. In a new tutorial in Premiere Pro course. Do you want to know how to use color wheels in Premiere Pro? Then you are in the right place to be. Let's start our tutorial. For this tutorial, I am working with the 0604 color wheels Premiere Pro project file. You find this with the media associated with this tutorial. You can download it from the link down below in the description. Just double click on the project file to open it in Premiere Pro. Color wheels allow you to make color adjustments to just the dark the light areas of an image. The extra control can help you fix more subtle problems in clips. And add more nuance to a look you're creating. Let's try it. I'm switching to the color workspace. And in the Lumetri color panel. I'm switching to view the color wheel section. I am looking at the travelog sequence in this project. And I'm gonna single click in the timeline panel on this walking on a sand clip to make sure it's selected. In the Lumetri color panel. I have three separate color wheels. One for the shadow sets the dark pixels. One for the mid tones. And one for the highlights that's the bright pixels in the image. The blue sky in this clip is around about the mid-tones. So as I hold the mouse cursor over this mid-tone color wheel, you can see any control pock appears that fat little plus symbol in the middle. I'm gonna drag that towards the blue side of the color wheel. And right away you can see the results. I have got a strong blue color in the sky. I'm gonna use the highlights control to add some warmth to the sand which is in the brighter pixels. You'll notice that the control pock moves very slowly. And this is by design it helps you to apply a more nuanced result. Now let's take a look at another example. I'm going to the Ninja Sonic sequence. If this isn't open on your screen, you'll find it in the project panel. And I'm gonna take a look at this fourth clip, which already has an effect applied. I can see that because it's got the effects badge this up in purple. I'm going to remove that effect by single clicking on the clip to select it. And I'm going to go to the effect controls panel. I'm going to select the effect and press delete. Now again with that clip selected I'm single clicking to make sure it's selected in the timeline panel. I'm going back to the Lumetri color panel. I'm going to adjust just the mid-tones. I can see by eye right that there is a magenta color cast on this clip. So I'm going to move the control pock away from that color. And very quickly you see we get a more natural looking result. Fixing a color cost in this way by just adjusting the mid-tones. Means that you can still have some color in the shadows and highlights if it's there. This can give you a more exciting result. You'll notice that there are sliders next to each of these color wheels. And these allow you to make the shadows, mid-tones and highlights areas in the picture brighter or darker. I'm going to hold down the shadows. And lift up the highlights. And I suppose this is just a more subtle way of adjusting the contrast in the picture. Now I'm happy with the results. I'm gonna go back to the editing workspace to continue working on my project. You will tend to get the best results if you experiment a little pushing the colors too far. And then coming back to get a more natural result. Once you're familiar with the color wheels. You're on your way to mustering color adjustments in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we go, we are done for today. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below. See you next time, goodbye.